What's up guys, Jared back. So I just put on CM 10.2 uh, Android 4.3 onto my HTC One and I'm playing around with the Focal Camera, the new app from the uh, Cyanogen Mod team and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have seen it but if you haven't then, well, here you go. Uh, so this is actually a really, really impressive camera application. They really did a cool, just an impressive job. Uh, that said, if we, I was gonna, there we go, yeah, you'll be able to see it better. You'll notice that we've got two little dots on the screen. Well, I actually added the one on the right. The one on the left is your uh, focus indicator, and the one on the right is actually, I think it's I think it's the exposure or light balance, one of the two, but I believe it's the exposure. Anyways, uh, you can use those both independently of each other, which is really, really cool. So, But let's go ahead and start by swiping up from the bottom, or alternatively, if you were in uh, portrait mode, it would be from the side, as you can see, whoop, go away, and we'll bring you back, and there we go, but let's put it in portrait, or landscape, sorry. So, um, starting from the left, obviously you have your flash, uh, auto white balance, scene modes, you can jump into here, you've got all these different scene modes. Now, you'll notice that that kind of pops up from the left there, we can actually pop up a whole bunch of menus if you like, and it just goes on and on and on. You can kind of shuffle them around if you like, or I think, yep, you can just swipe them away. Uh, alternatively, you can always just kind of tap them away if you like. Uh, now there's a lot of really cool uh, settings that they've added. Um, a bunch of stuff in here that I just have no idea what it does. Um, there isn't too much documentation on the focal camera as of yet, so I think it's going to be a bit of a learning experience until anything official uh, about that covers everything, in particularly like you know what the icons uh, in conjunction of what, with what they are or what they do. Um, so, anyways, uh, so we'll go ahead and remove that one. So you can see some exposure. Uh, this is the, from what I understand, the color uh, correction type area there. <laughs> um, this is, I can't remember, but I'll show you how we can figure out what these are in just a moment. So your ISO, this is your burst shots, 15, 10, 5, or from what, I, from what I'm getting out of that symbol, uh, infinite, which is pretty cool. Uh, timed, or you can use uh, a voice action to take a picture. And then of course we actually still have our settings button here. Uh, so you can turn on your grid if you like, you can turn it off. Uh, this little sort of magic wand there is, from what I understand, it's, they're trying to achieve the same effect that Google uh, Plus does when you upload a photo and it's kind of like that automatic beauty mode or like automatic beautify it or whatever the thing was. Um, just makes pictures look just really, really good. Um, and here's the little toggle for the exposure uh, ring there. So I can toggle that on and off as you can see. Uh, we can tap this window here and we can bring up uh, how many megapixels we wanna use, the quality of the photo, quality of resolution. And this is where we tell what all of these are. So we click on this little thing here, but first I'm actually gonna put it into portrait mode because it's a long list. And because this is a brand new uh, ROM, um, there's still a lot of things that they have to work on. So here's all the different little widgets that you see in that settings side there, right? So this will, you can actually uh, untick all of these if you want, as you can see. Go ahead and click on OK, and everything's gone. So you can really simplify things if you want, uh, you know, or just keep the ones in that you think you're going to be using, and leave the ones that you're not going to be using. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and put all those back for now, just so it looks cool on camera, and back into there. So I mean, you know, you can figure out which e what what each one of these is as you like, you know, add and remove them. Uh, so let's go ahead and close that down. We'll swipe that away, and we'll put it back into landscape mode. And if I long press on this and kind of pull it out. Actually, you don't have to long press, you just kind of pull it out. Uh, you see all these other options. So we can, of course, switch to our front-facing camera. Uh, we can do Photosphere, as like they like to call it, Pixphere. If I can bring up there, it's a little bit white text, maybe hard to see. Um, whoops, whoops, uh-oh, uh-oh, what's going on? Taking pictures. Uh, obviously, your video recording mode and panorama, and, of course, just your standard picture mode. Uh, now, we'll jump into the their Pixphere. This is Cyanogen Mod's version of um, Photosphere. So... As you can see, it's a little bit off there, so they still have some adjustments to make. I'm going to assume it says tap here or tap sphere to start a sphere or tap here to start sphere. So if I tap here or maybe there, I haven't been able to get it going. Uh, maybe even that button. Yeah, that doesn't do it. It just takes a picture. So we can undo that. Uh, but anyways, um, you get the idea, and uh, eventually this is supposed to be working a little bit better than the regular photo sphere. Um, anyways, guys, there's a little uh, short one for you. Um, of the new focal camera from Cyanogen Mod. Um, and I just wanted to show you one other thing. Of course, I had to bring in uh, C3PO so I can do a bit of a um, depth comparison. So let's say, for instance, I'll try and bring this up to the uh, camera a little bit better. Hopefully, it'll focus. There we go. So 
So if I wanted to, of course, I can just tap on him and you can see the little focus ring slowly start to turn and eventually it'll start to focus on him. Of course, with the bright lights and the reflective material, this may not have been the best subject for this test, nevertheless. Um, and and it'll, it's supposed to at least blur out the background. Um, and you can go ahead and move the little ring around wherever you want and that'll focus on wherever it is you want. So it's, you know, let's say for instance, Put it on my finger there maybe that'll be yeah, as you can see yeah there we go that's a little bit sharper but you know maybe it's a little bit overexposed right so we go ahead and grab that exposure ring and we drag it to where we want and um, this actually works a lot better when it's off camera believe me it's actually working really really well and this is one of the reasons why i actually really wanted to put cyanogen mod 2.10.2 uh, on my phone is to play with this camera with the two different um, rings here the one for exposure and the one for uh, focusing i think it's a really really cool combination to have uh, manual control over, uh, you know, at your fingertip. Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling and leave it at that. Really cool stuff from Cyanogen Mod 10, or sorry, from Cyanogen Mod uh, with Cyanogen Mod 10.2, Android 4.3. Uh, I'll be doing a uh, how to install video on both the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4, um, and maybe a review for both of them later on down the road. But generally speaking, there's never really anything bad to say about Cyanogen Mod, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. As always, everybody, if you like this video, click that likes button down below it always goes a long way to helping out the channel if you're new to the channel hey subscribe for more videos like this one and if you want to stay up to date on all things of smoking android you can always follow me on twitter and google plus those links are in the description and that's pretty much it <laughs> okay guys we'll see you in the next one cheers